this morning there's an interesting battle between skiers and snowboarders. It's off the slopes and now it's in the courtroom. Federal judges are considering whether Alta Ski Resort in Utah is violating snowboarders' constitutional rights by banning them from riding down the mountain. What? David Begno is in Loveland, Colorado. It's not far from where the case is unfolding in Denver. David, good morning. Gail, good morning. Like most ski resorts in the country, they share the mountain here at Loveland Ski Area, snowboarders and snow skiers. But the bottom line comes down to this. Here's the question in this case. Can a resort that leases public land from the federal government say yes to people who want to snow ski, but no to people who want to snowboard? As this historic footage shows, for more than 75 years, Alta has promoted itself as a skier's paradise. Enthusiastic skiers from around the globe flock to this unique resort. Known for its deep powder and beautiful scenery, Alta is also one of three resorts in the U.S. that does not allow snowboarding. It's a policy this group of snowboarders wants to change. It's about access, it's about exclusion, and it violates the law. Unlike the two other resorts that ban borders, Alta leases public land from the U.S. Forest Service. Rich Varga and Drew Hicken, seen here with their lawyer, have been snowboarding since the 80s, and they're two of the four snowboarders who filed suit. They say Alta's skiers only policy is discriminatory and violates their constitutional rights. Under the law, if you have a policy that excludes one group of people because you don't like that group of people, that violates the Equal Protection Clause. I think part of it is, you know, that's my public land as well. They operate on public property. I feel like I have a right to be able to go and use that mountain. This undercover video provided by the snowboarders involved in the case shows the level of animosity some skiers have toward boarders, whom they perceive as dangerous risk takers. I hate snowboarders. I need a hold out of control. Oh, you guys are the worst. I don't ever want to see a snowboarder near me. But Alta contends it's banning snowboards, not the people who ride them. In a statement to CBS News, the company says restrictions are a business decision made in order to promote a unique recreational experience for its customers. They say the equipment restrictions are not about banning people. This equal protection argument doesn't have a snowball's chance. Uh, the equal protection clause is concerned about laws that treat people differently based on who they are. And it's okay in most cases for the government to treat people differently based on what they do. These snowboarders know they're likely facing an uphill battle, but they hope the legal system gives them a lift. It is a passion. It is a way of life. To be excluded from the best powder up at Alta and not be able to be part of that is something that's very disappointing. There is no word on when the federal appeals court is going to make their decision, but Nora, it is interesting to note, last year a judge in Utah threw out the case because he said allowing the case to move forward could open the door to more lawsuits being filed against private companies. Mm, really interesting story, David. Mm. Yeah. I don't ski. Can't you set up two separate lanes? No? One for the snowboarders over mm. here and skiers? No? No. Maybe not two possible? separate mountains, but oh, not two okay. separate lanes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, as you see, I don't <laughs> ski, so that's why yeah. I'm asking. All right. No, yeah.